Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Magda and today I'm going to share with you the prices in Luxembourg, so let's get started. So today we're going to take a look at the groceries that I did this week. It's going to be groceries for around one, two weeks, depending on what we're going to look. And I'm going to show you the prices. So the first thing that I do, it's always before going to groceries, mostly when I go to Lidl, I check out the app. So you're going to see the app here and more or less how I do my list. So basically I start to check out the app. I start to check the coupons that are available. I start to check the newsletter of the week and uh, I start to do my list according to this. Normally I also arrange the list uh, according to how is it in a store. This time I didn't do it because I was in a rush, but normally I do so. So that's that's also recommendable for you if you know the store how to go. Lidl app is super nice because you have some discounts, you have some coupons, so this way you're going to be able to save more money. So today I went to Lidl, it was Saturday, uh, it was quite a lot of people actually in the afternoon. With these groceries, I see Lidl not having such a huge increase in the prices that the other places do, so that's a nice part. But still, the prices are a little bit higher than uh, maybe from the previous video. That's why I decided to do an update and probably I will do a video about what I spent in a week again. So just for you to know more current prices. So yeah, I would say now let's move to the video where I unpack my groceries and I share with you the prices. So let's go. So yeah, let's get started with how much I spent this week on the groceries. And uh, I have the bill over here. Uh, and let's go one by one. I will look down every single time because I don't know the prices. So I bought some type of full grain cereal baguette, which was one fifty nine. Then, then salad that was one zero nine. Then rucola roquette, however you want to call it, a different type of salad that was on the offer this time and it was one nineteen. Then I bought some fish, so mackerel, I don't know how it's in another language. It's almost 200 grams of the fish for 275. The price per kilogram was almost 14 euro. And it's smoked, I like it a lot. Then I bought the yogurt, I bought skid, I really like it as well. And it was 139. Next thing would be olives, XXL, I think it's almost half a kilogram, yeah, 400 grams. And they were... 3.15 Next one, champignon mushrooms. They were around 2 euro if I remember correctly. 1.99, so yeah, 2 euro. And then I bought avocado that I bought last time and none of them was bad. Every single one was super green and nice. They're super small avocados. They're a little bit more pricey, but usually when I buy the big one, like big one, buy fees that are a little bit bigger, they get either super early bad or they never get soft or whatever. So I bought this time these and they were for... 700 grams, if I remember correctly. Yes, 700 grams of avocados, 379. Then I got these, like the spoons for uh, cooking, because ours are getting a little bit old. So these were around 2 euro, 201. No, sorry, not 201, uh, 197. Eggs, as I always mention, uh, Luxembourg Lille has the cheapest eggs, they're eggs from Belgium, and they were two something. Let me tell you exactly how much. 249. And this price haven't changed too much lately, but there was a time that Lille didn't have eggs, and I don't know why, but they didn't have eggs. Now we're gonna move into the meat part, and I did some good deals and normal deals, let's say so. First of a good deal is uh, poulet, uh, which is chicken, uh, chicken breast already cut it, and there are 500 grams, they were 20% off, which still doesn't make them super cheap, but I try to eat more chicken lately, and it was around 5 euro for 500 grams, so 10 euro per 1 kilogram. Not the cheapest anyways. Then, mostly we convert to this. So there was a win-win-win week, so if you bought three of them, so I have one, two, and three, they're basically, sorry, they're basically like pieces of meat of beef that I like to put into the sauce and I will mostly freeze many of them. They are until eight. So uh, what is today? Fifth or fourth? Fourth. So let's say I have four days, I will not eat uh, one and a half kilogram of beef in four days. I will for sure freeze it. And these were, as I said, 25% off, which were making them around 10 euro per kilogram. So if you see, chicken was the same price as beef. So I paid for three of them, a little bit more than 15 euro. So one and a half 
three. I bet it was only in a deal of two or three because if you have the week where it's win or uh, like win win or win win win, that means that you get you get the discount. And now you may be surprised what they buy, but I buy a huge piece of salmon and it's a little bit above one kilogram. Yeah, one kilogram to 116 grams. And it's a peeled from salmon. I only bought it because again I can always freeze it, and it was. Uh, 20 euro per kilogram. So I paid a little bit above 20 euro for this amount of salmon and this is I think the cheapest I've seen salmon in my life in Luxembourg. Normally I pay around 30 euro and it's still like discounted with the like closer expiration date so until tomorrow the next day. I often buy it in Jashan and this one actually I don't know when it expires. So it doesn't expire ever according to the label but anyways i will cut it today i will put it into the freezer and that's it because i don't have a storage in a fridge to store it and i would just cut it into pieces for like one portions of pieces and i will just take it for the for lunches or dinners and then i have a few more things in my backpack that were bought also oh, this is the i don't know if i if i told you i better probably will tell you before and you will see also how i do my list then i bought some potatoes that are like already pre-made let's say you just get so they are already cut and everything and they were 30 percent off making them like super cheap per kilogram it's i don't know how many grams 500 grams and for 500 grams i paid 69 cents which is cheaper than the real potatoes and uh, it doesn't change that i bought real potatoes as well then i bought some water wipes which were very useful actually in india Recommending if you live in Luxembourg and you want something that is like super close to water, very recommendable. I was washing my face with it for three weeks in India and I didn't like, you know, break a lot. So that means that they were not bad. And then I got two passate from Muti, which is like quite nice Italian brand. And they were on offer. So they were 135 for 500 grams. Still super expensive in comparison to Italy, but not bad for Muti in Luxembourg. Then I bought a piece of cheese and this piece was 140, 34 grams. It was 2 euro and the price per kilogram was 15 euro and Morbier. It's very nice if you haven't tried and you like cheeses, recommending a lot. And they sell quite nice pieces in Berlin. Then I bought carrots from the offer. They were like 80 something cents, I think. Yeah, 89 cents. So one kilogram of carrots for 89 cents. And then, even if I bought the small potatoes, I bought also two kilograms of potatoes. Nicola, whoever it is, and however the potatoes are, they were also on the offer and I paid for them. Sorry that I'm not looking for you. I'm trying to find potatoes on my bill. I think it was like 225, somewhere. 265. 265 for two kilograms of potatoes. And yeah, that would be it. Uh, I assume looking at the amount of meat, it will last me forever. Salads also, they will last quite a while. Avocados for the whole week, skid, super nice. Eggs probably for two weeks. So this is groceries, not exactly for one week, but the total of it, I, there was 22 things. The total was 76 euro 91 cents. Most of the price was taken by salmon. So yeah, it's for you to judge if that's expensive, unexpensive, or what you think about it. I think still Lidl is quite cheap one on the cheaper side if you look at the prices. So yeah, that would be it. So yeah, as you could see, this is how much I spent for my groceries. It's gonna take a while that I'm gonna eat all of it. You can judge by yourself if it's a lot. If it's not, I would be more than happy to see it in the comments. So let me know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, I will be very, very happy if you would hit the like button. That helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm so this video will reach more people. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel. I talk a lot about Luxembourg, living here, jobs, expenses, and overall living abroad. So if you enjoyed this type of topics and you don't want to miss any of my future videos, subscribe to my channel. And here I leave you the video about what I spend in a week and if Luxembourg is expensive. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you in another video.